Hello everyone, this is Mocha and today we're gonna talk about music stealing. Few weeks ago someone installed an infractions track and uploaded it under someone else's name. And three days ago someone has stolen my one of the most popular tracks with hundreds of thousands of views and thousands of usages on YouTube. How is it possible that someone can steal the track and the most important, the monetization of its creator? Any track from any artist can be stolen. I recommend you to watch a video with the crazy story that happened to the artist The Fat Rat a few years ago. But this time we discovered something strange. Someone who's still in music and your monetization on a crazy scale. If you're not a musician, you might think that it doesn't concern you. But don't ignore this video. The scammers don't want our music. They want your monetization. It all have started a month ago, when even Infraction received messages from several subscribers that someone was stealing the monetization from their videos in which they used his track Chimera. He checked and noticed that the track had been stolen. He also received a claim on his YouTube channel from a company called Cash Code Records. They claimed that Chimera belonged to them. They also took the monetization from video on Infraction's channel and from subscribers who used his track. After checking the information from the copyright claim, we noticed that their partner is Merlin. This is a huge music company. YouTube doesn't moderate such disputes, so the artist can only contact the company that released the stolen track. If you don't receive response from them, this is your problem. Even wrote an email to Cash Code Records asking them to remove his track from the YouTube content ID and to return the monetization to everyone. There was no response. Then we wrote an email to Merlin. They replied that they forwarded this message to Cash Code Records. After that, Cash Code Records stopped ignoring us and returned the monetization to the subscribers and even. It seems like we've solved this problem. But a new surprise was waiting for us a few days later. One of my the most popular tracks, Get Drunk, was stolen. I received a message from a subscriber, just like even, that a certain Premiere Pro took their monetization with the help of Merlin again. The subscriber used my track Get Drunk in his video. My original track was sped up and uploaded to the content ID system. By the way, the track of our friend Alexi Action was stolen a month ago using Premiere Pro as well. Who is Merlin? They call themselves the largest and the most trusted international digital music licensing partner for independence. They help independent artists and labels upload music on marketplaces, Spotify, iTunes, and YouTube content ID. But why can these labels easily steal our music and monetization of our subscribers? Let's get back to the Cash Cold Records. Their LinkedIn page says that they are a label from LA. On YouTube, we found a short video that says Cash Cold Records are taking monetization from bloggers. Link in the description. In the comments on this exposed video, we saw many messages with the question how can I join Cash Code Records? We found this strange and began to study the comments on other videos related to this label. Everywhere we stumbled upon the same question how can I join Cash Cold? Usually, in response to this comment, someone leaves their number on WhatsApp to help you join. We decided to contact them. We were told that for $50 we can get access to a personal account for music uploads. When asked if we can upload other people's tracks, we were told yes, but the tracks should not be too popular so that the music owner does not notice the theft. We decided to filter the latest releases of Cash Code Records for the month and start shazamming them. We found a large amount of music that was shazammed as other artists' tracks and was uploaded to Spotify many years ago. Almost every release was shazammed, some of these tracks were sped up, pitched, slightly altered, and some tracks were uploaded without changes. We also uploaded some of these tracks to our test YouTube channel. We received a copyright claim for each of these tracks. Our monetization was taken by Cash Code Records. So it means that if YouTube blogger legally uses music and receives monetization from YouTube, Cash Code Records claim their copyright in the YouTube content ID and take the blogger's monetization. 
It appears that for $50, you can buy access to the Cash Court Records personal account and easily upload other people's tracks to the YouTube content ID system. By the way, recently in the USA, people were arrested for stolen about $20 million using a similar scheme. They illegally claimed copyright on other people's music. Our musician friends constantly receive false claims on videos with their own music. Alexi Action receives several false claims every week. Someone stole a track with 47 million plays from a fat rat, as well as his monetization, and these are just few examples. We have enough subscribers and connections to help us ban scammers and return our monetization. Over the years, we have studied copyright law and know how to protect ourselves, but what about small musicians? If there are really entire labels stealing thousands of tracks, then this is madness. If you like the idea of claiming copyright on someone else's music and making money from it while watching this video, well, don't do it. This is a huge violation of the law. You will either go to jail or receive a huge penalty sooner or later. Let's not be silent about this. If you are a musician, tell us your stories about your stolen music in comments here, or tell stories in your Instagram posts, or make videos like we do on YouTube. If you are a blogger, spread this video information. And we would like to hear a response from Merlin, who are the Cash Gold Records and Premiere Pro. Why can labels working with Merlin easily steal monetization? from our music and from our subscribers. How long has Cash Code Records been monetizing other artists' music? We always fight for your monetization and that's the goal for our channels. Thank you all.